It's time for everyone's favorite game show, Railroad History Trivia. And now here's your host, DJ. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to America's favorite new game show, Railroad History Trivia. I'm your host, DJ, and we're going to get started with a question that hopefully you all know the answer to. Are you ready? Here we go. For 100 pieces of track, the Canadian Pacific uses an animal in their logo. Which animal is it? Is it A, a moose, B, a beaver, C, an eagle, or D, Tom Cruise? The answer, of course, is uh, D, Tom Cruise. All right, hey, everybody, welcome to Yankee Dabble, where, of course, every day is a train show. My name is DJ, and today we're going to be taking a look at some new items, so hopefully, once again, we'll be finding a home on your layout real soon. We're going to get started with these uh, 52-foot, 6-inch mill gondola cars from Rapido. Check out these puppies here because I think you're really going to enjoy these. We have a couple of different Canadian national schemes here. I have the full lettering there, and I have the Noodle uh, logo design there. We have the British Columbia Railway. We have the Algama Central. I have two variations of the Canadian Pacific. I have the uh, black and white version, and of course I have the Pac-Man logo written there. I have the Ontario Northland, and then, of course, I have another version of the Ontario Northland there. We got the P, G, and E. We got the Toronto, Hamilton, and Buffalo. They do have a lot of heft to them, a lot of weight to them. They had die-cast metal wheels and metal couplers as well. So the more metal on a piece of rolling stock, the better, in my opinion. So I think these are awesome-looking cars here. You definitely need one, two, or 12 gondolas on your railroad. Now, the prices for these, let me get them up. So the gondolas retail for $49.95. We're selling them here at Yankee Dublin for $44.99. It's a great deal to get on these cars here. I got a bunch of different road names here. So get them rolling on your railroad today before, once again, they're gone and you missed out. So if you're looking for something to go with those gondolas here, Rapido has you covered with these F30 flat cars. Check out these guys. I know you're going to love these ones. I have here the TTX trailer train. I like the hook up there. We have the Pennsylvania Railroad. And of course, I have the Conrail. Now, these cars are really high quality cars here. They glide around the track fantastically. And once again, they have metal couplers to go along with them as well. And once again, I know I sound like a broken record, but and the more metal pieces that I can have on my trains, the better. So flat cars don't get a lot of love out there because essentially it's just a board with wheels. But these cars are really nice. They got a lot of detailing to them. And I think they're kind of fun because you can put whatever types of loads onto them. Who knows? You're in charge of your own railroad. And speaking of the railroad, we got our next trivia question. This one is for 200 bottles of uh, smoke fluid. All right. Are you ready? The Pennsylvania Railroad. Their slogan was A, we're a very good railroad, B, we are awesome, C, the standard railroad of the world, or D, may the force be with you. And of course, the correct answer is uh, B, we are awesome. All right, so, come to Yankee Dabbler, get these cars on your railroad today. As a matter of fact, that'll help if I tell you the prices. These flat cars, just like the Godola, sell for $49.95. We're selling them for $44.99. So get one, two, or 50 of them on your layout today. All right, so you're looking for some more rolling stock to add to your collection? What's wrong with you? Seek help. But if you don't want to seek help, we have these 3,800 cubic foot cylindrical hoppers for your choosing. Check these guys out once again from Rapido. And I have three good row names here. Especially if you're a fan of the Canadian Railroads here, I have the CP Rail. I have the Canadian National. I like the design of that one here. And, of course, I got chemical products. Now, these cars here slide across the track. They are awesome-looking cars here. They run great. Again, if you are an operator and you want a really well-done car that is put together, that's going to operate without issue, these are the cars for you. Now, they do have metal uh, couplers here. They are actually painted, so they look more realistic metal wheels these are awesome looking cars here and once again if you're a fan of the canadian railroads i think you're really gonna like those now these uh cylindrical hoppers retail for 59.95 but we're selling them here at yankee dabbler for 54.99 awesome deal to get on these cars here i think you should get a bunch and for our canadian friends here we have our round number three of questions here are you ready for 300 rail joiners <clears throat> 
The Canadian National Railroad was found in what year? Is it A, 1815, B, 1859, C, 1919, or D, 8675309? And of course, the answer was E, potato. All right, so come to Yankee Dabbler, get those cars in your layout today. We got two locomotives here uh, for your consideration, especially if you're a DC operator or if, of course, these are upgradable for DCC if you're so inclined. But I got two locomotives here that are for your interest. Now I got to take them out of the box because I got a lot of stuff out already. But this is the Ather and Union Pacific, the George H.W. Bush diesel locomotive, the 4141. This, of course, has a great history about it with the former president. And it is a stellar looking piece. It's designed to look like Air Force One. And this is a piece that is, again, a DC uh, locomotive. So this one retails for $249.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $199.99. It can be upgraded to DCC, and you can put some sound into it if you so desire. But this is the DC version, so if you're looking for a DC engine uh, to pull on your rails, you might want to go with that one. Another DC engine that we have here that we actually will be upgrading one of them to a DCC the locomotive soon. But we have another one of those Cato 50th anniversary Genesis diesel locomotives here. This one is what they call the Midnight Blue engine here. As you can see, it's in a blue paint scheme here. The number 100 in this engine actually was in our area, uh, the tri-state area, not too long ago. So this is an awesome looking engine. And again, we're going to get one of these up, uh, upgraded with DCC and sound. So we're going to sell that real soon. We'll show you that when we get it. But this one retails for $215. We're selling it for $172. So again, these are two DC locomotives. They don't have sound in them. However, if you are interested, we do offer a service. We have our friend Christian here. And Christian will come to your house for $45 an hour and make train noises. Christian, give us an example. What are you doing? I'm an electric. All right. Get, give me a diesel sound. Honk, honk. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, why don't you give me a Tsunami 2 sound for a diesel? Honk, honk. Mm, sounds pretty much the same. All right. So $45 an hour, man. You got this, all right? So come to Yankee Dabbler. Check that out. And you can check out his website, ChristianMakesTrainNoises.edu. All right, so you see one more a rolling stock to take a look at? Well, we got you covered with these 52-foot, 6-inch gondola cars from Tangent. Check out these variations of these gondola cars here. And I got four road names that I particularly really like. I have here the Reading Railroad there. I have here the Lehigh Valley, and I always like that logo design there. We got the Central Railroad of New Jersey, one of my favorites. And of course, once again, the Pennsylvania Railroad. And these are awesome looking cars here. Tanship makes a wonderful product here. As you can see, this the detailing is incredible. If you take a look here, I got the cut levers here for the various different detailing parts there. These are really nicely built. They have metal couplers here, and these cars glide across the track. Now, these are fantastic looking cars here, and again, Tangent does a great job with their uh, products here. So we're actually selling these cars for $39.99. So that's a great price to get on these gondola cars here. You get a whole bunch of them, mix it with the repeat cars here, make a nice long gondola train. All right, time for our next question for 400 track nails. <clears throat> The Reading Railroad ran all of these places but the following. Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland, or Israel? And of course the correct answer was... Yeah! Wow! Somebody knew! Man, these are hard questions. All right, so come to Yankee Dabbler and check these out for yourself. All right, speaking of tangent, they actually make a wonderful product here that we are selling here. If you're looking for wheels, and we all need wheels to roll on our trains here. For our HOers, we have here this 100-pack of 33-inch wheels here. And that is a whole bunch of wheels there. And for our end scalers here, we have this 12-pack here of 36-inch wheels for you different kind of 12 pack than the one i would like but hey it is what it is all right so we got these wheels here and we are selling them the n scale 12 pack are selling for nine dollars and 59 cents and the ho ones are selling for 74.95 so if you're looking to convert some of those old plastic wheels to metal come into yankee dabbler and get those conversions happening today all right now it is time for the moment that we've all been anticipating that's right it's time to go to the big boy i'm getting a cheeseburger let's go 
Yeah, no, 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 not no salty oil and cheeseburger. We talking about the big boy engine. Come on now. Oh. Where you going? I'm hungry. Me too. All right. Well, anyway, we'll talk about the big boy train. And we have here from Broadway Limited, the big boy. That's right. And I have a couple of different variations that we're going to talk about here. First one there is the 4014. Actually, they're both 4014s. But as you can see, I have two different types of paint schemes. This one over here, which is the glossy one, is the excursion service one here. So this is fresh out of the shop, freshly painted. Now, in real life, the tender was not glossy because they only glossy the engine. However, I think it complements the piece really well to have the entire thing glossy. I think it looks a little odd, personally, if one piece is shiny and the other isn't. And then this is the in-service excursion version here. This is after it's run for a little bit here. So you can see it's a little bit more of a matte finish here. Now you can tell this is an excursion engine because this has the oil tender. And of course the real 4014 back in its day actually had a coal tender. And when they converted it into an excursion engine, they made it a oil tender. So the 4014 here is a Broadway Limited re-release. They had this engine. Actually, as a matter of fact, we had it on our show. So if you go back to one of our earlier episodes, you'll actually see our version, our breakdown of the 4014. But they have updated it with all the brand new features. For example, now this has a Paragon 4 sound system put into it so it's no longer paragon 3 it is now paragon 4 and one of the neat additions that they added to it is instead of having that draw bar connected which kind of was a little problematic i know a lot of people had some issues with that possibly breaking they actually separated that and now there's a hook and latch into there so it actually fits a lot better it's a lot more safer to put this engine uh, when you handle it on the tracks now this engine is comes in a couple of different paint schemes including a greyhound version which of course is a fantasy scheme but this is too good to pass up we're gonna take a look at that here so all aboard the big boy let's go hmm i mean uh what do you think yeah it's close yeah, I it's close Yay. Mm -hmm. okay. anyway so we have here the 4023 uh, in the Greyhound paint scheme. Check out this engine. I really like that. Again, it's a fantasy scheme, but I really just like the way this looks. And as I mentioned with the other engines, how they were oil burners, this is a coal burner here. So you can see the coal load in the tender. And there's a lot of great other features that we're going to take a look at here. So let's get it fired up for you so you can see what those things look like here. All right. So first thing that you're going to notice here is I have a great detailing in the light department here and that is definitely a neat feature of this locomotive here now let's check out the rear uh, the tender here and you're going to see some awesome lighting details as well here i love the marker lights that are happening here if you take a look onto the side they're green and if you take a look right on the red i mean this is just a great looking engine all around here and the cab is actually illuminated with the engineer and fireman figurines lit up this is a tremendous amount of detail happening to this piece. This is a work of art. So let's run around a little bit, shall we? Back her up. You know, one feature I really like about this engine is that because it has the dual cylinders happening here with the front side and the back side, 
Sometimes they'll actually sync up, sometimes they'll sound out of sync. It's a really neat feature to have with this engine. And to hear what that sounds like, we're going to pull this entire consist of all the cars that we took a look at so you can also see the tremendous pulling power of this engine. All aboard. Alright, so we're going to pull that entire consist and I actually threw in some of those auxiliary water tenders that we have taken a look previously from scale trains. I think it complements this engine really well. All aboard, 4023. Now arriving on track number one, train number 4023, the big boy cheeseburger. That is an awesome sounding engine. It looks great. It sounds great. And you're definitely going to want to have this, especially if you're a fan of the Union Pacific or the Steam. You can't really consider your collection complete unless you have the kick of the rails, the big boy there. All right. Now, this engine retails for $869.99. No, it's a lot to pay for a steam locomotive, but as you saw, it's just an incredible looking piece. It is, uh, I mean, I can't say enough about it. I could play with this thing for hours. But we're selling this thing at uh, Yankee Dabbler for $695.99. So come to Yankee Dabbler, get this out. I have the 4014 in the excursion version. I have the, uh, the matte finish. I have the Greyhound paint scheme as well. I mean, these are just great engines, and you know what happens is unless you order it or you come to a store that has a feel like we do, once it's gone, it's gone, and you're waiting for the next variation. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get this. And for our final question, for 500 telephone poles, you know, little tiny ones, are you ready? Yeah. The Big Boy got its name because A, a shop worker wrote the name Big Boy on the boiler front. B, because the Big Boy is famous for crashing into a Big Boy restaurant. C, because it actually uses small children, like big boys, as a fuel source. Or D, potatoes. Correct answer is D, potatoes. All right, so coming to Yankee Dabbler, get this engine rolling today. I want to thank you very much for watching our show, What's New Here at Yankee Dabbler. Please hit that subscribe button to Engineer Hall's channel. As a matter of fact, he told me if he gets a thousand subscribers this week, he's going to do absolutely nothing. Interesting strategy. Let's see if that pans out for him, all right? For our O scalers out there, I want to make a quick mention that the new Lino catalogs, the second edition, have come in. So if you're in the uh, area of Yankee Dabbler and interested in picking up one of these books here, you can check them out here. Now, for our traditional O scalers here, a lot of that is actually available at Lino's website, so you can see what's going on there. But for our scale people, and I know there are a lot of them out there, 
that like oh, to man, do a little. That, that's a nice one right there. Oh, yeah, you like that's that? Nice one. One. I might get that one. I don't know. But for our scale people out there, especially if you're a Strasburg Railroad fan, there's a whole bunch of scale items in the book here. So come in, get a book. If you're interested in something, we will order it for you. All right. So for our O scalers, we got that covered in for you. Okay. We have everything that you saw today on today's show available on our website, yankeedabbler.com. Please make sure if you're interested in the big boy or any of the repeato cars or the tangent cars or the wheel sets, please make sure you type that in. Get that to your, um, so you can get it in your car so we can ship it out and get it rolling on your rails today. We're going to conclude today's uh, video with our rail fan video. And since we looked at an articulated engine, I thought I would do a rail fan video of an articulated engine that I've actually seen. This is going to be the Western and Maryland 1309 rolling down the Western and Maryland Railroad. And I want to give a quick shout out to the Western Maryland Railroad, in particular, two of the engineers that actually got me into the cab here. Here's the photo. What a handsome devil here. And I'm going to give a shout out to their names to David and joey all right and believe it or not it was kind of a funny story i was in the cab and we were talking about things and all of a sudden both of them actually said they had purchased things from yankee dabbler so i thought that was really cool so i want to give a shout out to david and joey thanks very much for getting me up there and most importantly if you're interested in uh, supporting the western maryland railroad it's an amazing engine they have a great operation there they have the ice cream trains that they're running right now for ten dollars you get ice cream in the train ride can't really beat that so go on their website at western maryland railroad and check those guys uh, sorry western maryland scenic railroad and check those guys out all right so here is the rail fan video of 1309 going down the line and if you excuse me we talked all about those big boys i'm finally getting my cheeseburger because whatever i'm I, i'm comfortable with myself christian come on we're getting cheeseburgers i want one